Hello everyone, this is Challenging Mathematics and we are going to solve the past papers of ICATS Mathematics Contest for year 2022 for grade 3 and 4. But before starting the video, I would request you to kindly subscribe my channel so I could make such interesting videos for you to help you get medals or get positions in these international contests. So question number one is, Aisha wakes up at 7.30 a.m. It takes her 50 minutes to get ready. What time is she ready? So here we can make a timeline. And split 50 into two parts like 30 plus 20 is equal to 50. So 730 plus 30 is equal to 8 o'clock and 8 plus 20 is equal to 820. So her ready time will be 820 a.m. So A is our answer. Now question number two. If you add 332 to me, I will become 700. Who am I? Here I do not know the number. So I can write a blank over here. Otherwise any variable like x, y or z. So it's similar like you ask your child that what is added into 5 to make 12. He can do mental math as well but indirectly he is going to subtract 5 out of 12 and the answer is 7. Similarly we are going to subtract 332 out of 700 to find our answer which is 368. So again A is our answer over here. So question number 3 is which of these would be measured in kilograms? They have given different options. Let me tell you, liquids are always measured in liters or milliliters. So our option C, the volume of water will be measured in liters or milliliters. Distance or length is measured in centimeters, meters or kilometers. So length of a stick will be measured in centimeter or meter here. And weight is always measured in grams or kilograms. So here are A, option A, the weight of a bag of apples will be measured in kilograms or grams so a is the answer here question number four is how many hours and minutes are there from quarter past five to half past eight so again we are going to make number line and we are going to see that how many minutes are hours are between so there are 45 minutes from 5 15 to 6 o'clock two hours from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock and similarly there are 30 minutes from 8 o'clock to 8 30. Now we have hours and two chunks of minutes but we have to complete the hours first. We know that uh, there are 60 minutes in one hour right. So we have to see that what can be given from these 30 minutes to 45 to complete one hour. Obviously 15 minutes will be given to it and then we will have one extra hour and 15 minutes will be left over here. So now uh, we have one hour and two hours. Two, one hour plus two hours is equal to three hours and then 15 minutes. So C is our option over here. Three hours and 15 minutes. Question number five is Seema is seven. Krishna is four years older than Seema and five years younger than Gita. How old is Gita? So Seema is seven and we can find the age of Krishna by adding four years into the age of Seema, which is seven. So seven plus four is 11. That is the age of Krishna. But they have asked about the age of Gita and they told you that, uh, that uh, Krishna is five years younger than Gita. So we can add five into the age of krishna which was 11 to get the age of gita that is 11 plus 5 is equal to 16. so b is our answer over here question number six what number should be subtracted from smallest four digit number to give largest three digit number so here first of all we have to see what is our biggest the largest four digit number that is 9999 and smallest four digit number is equal to 1000. So to get the largest three digit number, we will see all our options. Obviously we have to subtract the smallest number given in the option. So look at this. If we check all our options like 1000 minus 1, 10, 100 or 1000. So this is our option D part. Like 1000 minus 1 is equal to 999. That is greatest than the rest of the answer. Question number seven, I thought of a number, I doubled that and added three. The answer was 45. Which number did I think? So we already have the answer with us, which is 45. To solve the question like these, we should take inverse of the given operations. Like it is, I doubled that and added three. First, we have to solve this part. Added three means we have to take inverse, which is minus. So we will subtract three out of 45. The answer will be 42. Now I doubled that. So double, the inverse of double is half. We are going to take half of our 
answer like which is 40 which was 42 so half of 42 is 21 so here c is our answer question number eight kajal painted a red dot on each side of a cube then she glued her cube to a piece of cardboard how many red dots can be seen on kajal's cube once it is glued to the cardboard so we already know that there are six sides of a cube and out of six if one side is glued to a cardboard still five sides or five dots will be visible so five is the answer over here question number nine which of the given rules was used for grouping the objects in group a and group b we will simply compare all our options to find out the answer option number a group a objects with curved lines that's true group b objects that are squares that's not true because there are some rectangles as well Option B, group A, objects that are foods, that's not necessary, there are some other objects as well. Option C, group A, group A, objects that are balls and group B, objects with curved lines, that's not true. Uh, option D, group A, objects that are circular, yes, that's true. And group B, objects with straight lines, yes, that is also true. So D is our answer over here. Question number 10, which number would correctly complete the pattern given in the columns A and B? If we look at the column, every no next number is double of the previous number like 5, 10, 20, 40, 80. Similarly, 10, double of 10 is 20, then double of 20 is 40, double of 40 is 80 and then uh, double of 80 will be 160. So D will be our option. Question number 11. If current continues the pattern given below, how many smaller rectangles will there be in the next figure? So here again we have to focus on the pattern. We will just look at the smaller rectangles. So there are four smaller rectangles and one bigger. So four here. In the next figure there are eight. In the next one there are 12 small rectangles. So we will follow the pattern 4, 8, 12. So it's a table of four. The next number will be 16. So again D is our option. Question number 12, Tanya started walking from her house on the map. She went right 4 units and then up 3 units. From her house, if we take 4 steps to the right, we reach to post office. And then up 3 steps or 3 units, if we go 3 steps up, we reach to park. So which of the following is her location now? It's D, park. Question number 13, which of the following represents the number with the value of the digit in the hundreds place greater than the digit in the thousand place? So we have to find a number whose hundreds value is greater than the thousand. So first of all, we can write all our places at the top and then we can compare all our options. A, hundreds and thousands both are same, B, C and D. And now we can compare and we can clearly see that in the option C, hundreds is 8 and thousands is 6 so this is our answer because in this option we have our hundred place greater than thousand now question number 14 mrs john gave her student the following clues about a mystery number now we will sort the clues one by one first of all write the places at the top and the first clue is there is two in the ones place so we can write 200 units or ones there is a 7 in the hundreds place and there is a 4 in the tens place. So if we jot down the numbers, the answer is 742. So D is our correct option. Question number 15. How many hours are taken by an hour hand to complete one round? So one round of a clock is completed after 12 hours. So we can say in 24 hours there are two rounds of an hour hand. So, B is our option here. Question number 16. The pencils represent the fact family given below. So, we know that there are two types of fact families, addition and subtraction fact family and uh, multiplication and division fact family. Here we can clearly see that multiplication and division is included. So, we can say it's a multiplication and division fact family. There are always three numbers included in the family which are used to make four equations. So if we make if we compare these four equations, three equations are present, but the fourth one, which is 12 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12, is missing over here. So D is our correct option. Question number 17. If Ali has baseball practice every fourth day in the month of March, starting with March 1st, what date will be his last day of practice for the month? So here, most of all, we can mark 
fourth March starting from first and then we can simply read the table of four it's fourth 8th March 12th 16th 20th 24th 28th so next number is 32 but 32 doesn't exist in a month so obviously 28th March will be the last day of his practice question number 18 use the picture below to answer the question Sam will use one marker to color half of the circles what is the color of the marker Sam will use so it's obvious there are total 12 circles out of them six are green so sam would choose green color to mark half of the circles so b is the answer question number 19 every week milo changes the security code on his computer he follows these steps to come up with a new code step number one he finds the fifth word on the fifth page of that day's newspaper step number two he finds the number that goes with each of the letters in that word that is a is equal to one b is equal to two c is equal to three and so on like he allots the numbers to the alphabets according to their sequence step number three he adds all the numbers for the letters in the word the total number in his security code so according to instructions the fifth word of the fifth page is off so like one two three four and fifth so off O is at 15th place and F is at 6th place. We are going to add 15 plus 6 that is equal to 21. So according to all these instructions, his security code will be 21. Use the graph below to answer the questions. They have given you a chart in which favorite colors in Mrs. Anderson class and number of students are mentioned. Mrs. Anderson graphs her students' favorite color in our class, the students paint the picture with their favorite color. All the bottles of paints have the same amount to start with. Which two colors of paint are likely to run out first? So according to the information given in the chart, 10 students like blue color and 11 students like orange color. So these two colors are going to finish first. So that's why we will choose C over here. Question number 21. Cody rides his bike to the park to meet a friend at noon. It means 12 o'clock. Cody arrives at the park at 11 a.m. Which question can be answered using this information? Option A. What is the distance between the park and Cody's house? There is no such information is given. Question Option number B. How long could Cody have to wait for his friend? So we can find the time between 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock. It's one hour. So yes, we can uh, answer that question. Option C, how long does Cody stay at the park? We do not know. So B is the best option over here because D is when will Cody leave to go home? So no idea. Question number 22, John wants a carpenter to build him a custom bookcase. He wants each shelf to hold 10 books. How many shelves does he need if he has 132 books? So 10 books can be kept on one shelf. 10 thirteens are 130. It means 130 books can be kept on 10 shelves. But the total is 132. So two books are remaining. He needs one shelf for these two books. So 13 plus 1 is equal to 14. To keep 132 books, he needs 14 shelves. So B is our answer. On a farm, there are some hens and sheep. Altogether, there were 8 heads and 22 feet. So first of all, we are going to write our information. How many hens were there? So they have asked about only hens. So we will make different combinations and check that which one is the best one. For example, we will see that uh, sheep has 4 feet. So which number is divisible on 4 out of 22? So let's say 20 divided by 4, that it means there are 5 sheep. To complete the total of 22, we will say there is 1 hen because hen has 2 feet. So 20 plus 20, uh, sorry, 20 plus 2, which that will be equal to 22. So it is complete but this is the denial of our first information which is that there are 8 animals. If we would do the total, the answer is 6 animals. No, that's not correct. Now let's discuss other option. Uh, out of uh, 22, 16 is also divisible on 4. So we can say that if uh, one sheep has 4 feet, so 16 divided by 4, it means there might be 4 sheep. And uh, to complete the total of 22, we say that there are 
three hens. So three twos are six. The total is twenty-two, but four sheep and three hens. There will be seven animals in total. So again, it is the denial of our first information that there are eight animals. Now we will make another combination. We will again see which number is divisible on four in twenty-two. So we have checked twenty sixteen. We are coming back backwards actually. So now we will check twelve. If we say twelve divided by four, so there are three sheep. To complete the total of twenty-two feet, now we have to see how many hens we need. We need uh, five hens. Each hen has two legs, right? So two feet total. So the number of feet is twenty-two now. Twelve plus ten that is, and then according to this, there are three sheep and five hens. The so total is eight. Eight animals are there, and twenty-two is also correct. So yes, so according to all our calculations, there are five hens. Question number twenty-four: There are three baskets: a brown one, a red one, and a pink one, holding a total of ten eggs. So we can write B for brown, red for R for red, and P for pink. The brown basket has one more egg in it than the red basket, so we can write red is equal to b plus one. The red basket has three eggs fewer than the pink basket, so red is equal to p minus three. Pink minus three. How many eggs are there in each basket? So we can compare our all options as well. Let's suppose red is one, so brown is. One plus one, which is equal to two, but here brown is equal to three. So this is not our, not our option. If I see uh, this uh, third option C, again red is one and brown is one more than red. So one plus one is equal to two, but here it is written brown is equal to four. So obviously A and C are not in our options. Now we will see B and D. If red is two, so The brown should be one more than red, which is equal to three. Two plus one is three. So, but here brown is four. No, B is also not our correct option. D can be like if red is two, brown is two plus one, which is equal to three, and pink. If red is two, so obviously pink is three more than red. So two plus three is five. In other words, we may say uh, red is. Pink minus three. If pink is five, five minus three is equal to two. So yes, it satisfies the instruction. So D will be our correct answer over here. Question number twenty-five. In Julie's hall, there is a very old clock which lost its hour hand a long time ago. School finishes at half past three, and it takes Julie at least half an hour to get home. Sometimes she goes to the shop on the way, and sometimes she leaves. Um, school a bit earlier. When she first gets home, Julie always looks at the clock in the hall to see what time is it. One week, these were the times she saw. On which day did she play with Sam for about half an hour before getting off for home? So here we may see that school finishes at three thirty and tra traveling time is thirty minutes. And uh, if we add the time, she will reach to home at four o'clock. But today they told you that she played thirty minutes extra with Sam. So, so she will reach to home around four thirty p.m. So if we look at the hands over on the clocks, Tuesday is the most appropriate option over here because it it might be four. Thirty, or we can give five minutes extra. That she, we just imagine that she leaves five minutes late, or maybe she is stopping at the shop. They have not mentioned it, but we, but we do not have exact time. So we will choose Tuesday over here, which is the most optimal option according to the given scenario.